capabilities. Turning now to tax enforcement, the GAO has identified this as a high-risk area because of the size of the tax gap and the difficulty over time in narrowing that gap. The most recent IRS study of the tax gap, released in 2012, found that the tax gap was $385 billion for tax year 2006. The IRS is preparing a new study of the tax gap that covers tax year 2010 and will be based on audits done between 2008 and 2010. We expect this report to be released in the first quarter of 2016. One of the key findings from our ongoing research on the tax gap has been that the compliance rate is very high for income that is subject to information reporting. Income subject to third-party reporting is underreported only about 8 percent of the time. That number jumps to 56 percent for income that is not subject to any third-party reporting or withholding. Another thing we've learned from our research is that the biggest portion of the tax gap involves the underreporting of business income by individual taxpayers, which totaled $122 billion in 2006. The evidence is clear that the lack of reliable and comprehensive reporting and withholding on this type of income is the main reason for such a high level of underreporting. A good example of our recent efforts to improve compliance in this area involves the legislative requirement for electronic payment processors, credit card companies, to send us information from business credit card receipts on a new Form 1099-K. The first 1099-Ks were filed in 2012 for transactions in 2011, and I'm pleased to report we're beginning to see positive impacts on compliance from this new program provided by the Congress. Programs such as 1099-K reporting are useful not only because they help the IRS to collect the correct amount of tax, but also because they encourage voluntary compliance. And the importance of voluntary compliance cannot be overstated. A 1 percent increase in the level of voluntary compliance brings in about $30 billion annually in tax receipts. Even with these and other efforts, I would note that it is not possible to eliminate the tax gap completely. Getting to 100 percent tax compliance would require a huge increase in audits and significantly greater third-party reporting and withholding than we have now. Realistically, that wouldn't work because the burden on taxpayers and the strain on IRS resources would be far too great.